For practice it, exercise 1.8, Stewie 2, we are asked to write a complete Java program in a class named Stewie 2 that prints the following output. We need to use at least one static method besides main to remove redundancy. So in this code, we have to first write a class. So this is going to be public class Stewie 2 with a starting brace and a closing brace. In here, we need a main method. So we're gonna have public static void main string args. That's the syntax for a main method. And now we need to write code. But we realize if we look at this, that this is basically being copied multiple times over. So we have these forward slashes here, then these backslashes here, and then backslashes here, backslashes here, backslashes here. So the only thing that's um, different is that there's forward slashes on this first part. So what we can do is write a victory is mine method. So we can say victory, and this will be our method call for victory. So now we need to make that method. We're going to have public static void victory with parentheses like this, and then braces surrounding them. So we can actually write code on the inside of it. In here, we're just going to write system dot out dot print ln and we will write well actually instead of writing we can just copy this line right here to make sure there's no spelling errors and paste this in like this so now we have the victory is mine part and we notice that these um, backward slashes are going to be in every single one so if we copy this and then just write system dot out dot print ln we can actually paste this into this method as well since they're backward slashes we need two sets of them to make one in our output now we have forward slashes only once so we can actually just system dot out dot print ln that and to make sure there's no errors we will copy all of this and paste it here like this we are printing out victory one, two, three, four, five times. So victory like this, we'll just grab it and write it five times. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we can run it. And we have an error. And that is because I did not have a period. Um, behind the out in system.out.println. But once we have a period here and we run it, we will pass the test because the output is the same as this output. Again, the only difference is this front line. So we're going to print it out in our main method. We'll manually write that out. And then this victory is mine gets repeated five times. So instead of writing this all out five times, we can write it once in a method like this and then call that method five times. That is a super basic but super useful way to use methods.